find it weird and extraordinary that someone would race to defend a pervert. Like if someone was like, hey, here's a black pedophile. I'm not like, how dare you talk about this black pedophile? We're going to defend this black pedophile. How dare you talk about this at all? I, I find that to be quite bizarre. Like you don't, you're actually not required because you're a Jewish person and this guy happens to be Jewish to defend him, Magnus Hirschfeld, because he has nothing right, but to if do you, with, with 100%, the Jewish but faith. It, it, Right. But if you went on to say in every and in, in, in several in pattern of episodes in which every time you said, I'm not I'm just asking questions It's a black pedophile. I don't know what's going on with black people, but something's going on here. And then when black people got offended, you'd say, why can't I and like making it part of the narrative is what you're very making concerning. that up. You, you don't have several episodes where I said, I'm not going to say that's just you kind of saying that right now. You gave a specific mm -hmm. example about Magnus Hirschfeld. And I told you this was an episode where I was talking about psychology and I had listed four Christians in that exact same monologue. No, mm -hmm. no Christians. Okay. No Christians were well, outraged we, because no Christians, talk about something very, no Christians are snowflakes, can, right? So they weren't like, no. why is Candace pointing out what the Christians are, that there were Christian perverts in the past? And yet the Jewish community post October 7th has gotten a little snowflakey. Everybody can see that, except even I've speaking to your point, by the way, and, and, and I'm sorry yeah. to cut you off here because yeah. this kind of even proves it further. When we first began that conversation with Dave Smith and you were talking about these people online that are that hate mm -hmm. Jews, you know, these like these anonymous accounts. And I had a Jewish friend who had messaged me and asked me, can you publicly disavow these people that are saying bad stuff about Jews? What an absurd notion. Every welcome to the Internet. Every time I've logged on since I've said I was anti BLM, I'm being called a coon. I'm being called an N word. I'm being called an ha a house N word. And I've never reached out to my Jewish friends and said, hey, could you do me a favor and disavow these random accounts on the Internet? It's like grow up. I'm sorry if you need if you if this is too much for you to handle on Twitter, log off. You're adults. This is how the Internet works. Have you even played the stupid game the boys like to play? Have you ever read that chat on um, what is it? What is it called? Um, uh, uh, not uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know. What are they, I think it's mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto or one of the ones where they. Yes, I, there's atrocious yeah, things so on it's the like Internet. Suddenly Welcome Jewish to October it. 7th, like, where is everybody going to defend us from these anonymous trolls online? I'm like, goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm 35 years old. If you need your hands held because there's anonymous accounts that are saying mean stuff to you on the Internet, then you got to log off. You just got to log off, and you shouldn't be in politics at all. You really shouldn't. You're, you're too soft to be in Can politics. I, ask, I, I didn't bring this up in the last conversation because I think it just would have distracted from the issue that we were discussing, but something, a clear example of this that I'd say raises legitimate concerns. So, and I saw you talk about this with Pierce Morgan too when he brought up Kanye West and those remarks, okay? So I know you're bored of the subject, but just for the sake of clarity, um, what Kanye West said, uh, I'm going DEF CON 3 on Jewish people. Nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with policies at DEF CON 3 on Jewish people. And you admitted, I think, in videos after that, from what I've seen, and it could be stuff I haven't seen, but from what I've seen, you admitted I fumbled on that a little bit and I could have been more clear. Um, the, the amount of, does it concern you, or you can see why it concerns us, that while you may have us. had a lot of more information going on behind the scenes that may have clouded your judgment on how to respond to that, um, I would simply say, first of all, you can have a personal relationship with somebody and a friendship with someone and care about them and not condemn and not condone what they say. In other words, so the inability to make that separation, like this is clearly not anti-Semitic if you're thinking about this. I mean, it clearly was. And it does it see, does it concern you? And you see how it concerns us that mi mi many millions of people, lots and lots and lots of people responded positively to that. And when we see things like Kanye speaks truth or he's onto something and then his uh, subsequent after that going on uh, Alex Jones and talking the way spoke speaking the way he spoke about jews and for that to be received the way it is it, it it's very 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 unsettling for us can you see yeah, that absolutely. why that and would I've, be I've multiple, I've multiple times said like you just who are you speaking for that i understand hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. this 100 percent that's not a that that candace it seems like she's not he's talking like he's speaking for the, the whole jewish community you, you're just one person you don't represent the jewish community us us, he keeps on saying us, as if he's there to represent or he's there as an ambassador. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> not saying enough or she's not being defensive enough. Mm -hmm. And I also did an episode saying I can understand how my friends like Dennis Prager and Mich Marisha Street may have read that. But mm -hmm. also, and this again gets into the conversation that we just had, when you're sitting oh, with your friend oh. and they're receiving text messages sure. from someone that's threatening to take their children and drug them, and they snap, like you can be also understanding to that. And obviously I had assumed he would t tell that to the public sooner than he had told them. 
So, yeah, did I perfectly deal with that situation with one of the most famous people in the world who I happen to be friends with, and knowing what he was going through, not just from one person who happens to be Jewish, Harley Pasternak, but also multiple people who were doing those things to him. It's, it's just, it's, it was an imperfect situation. It was almost an impossible situation, and I've owned that. I've said, listen, I totally mm -hmm. get how you perceive that, and I am sorry that you felt that way. I, I dealt, I dealt, I dealt with the hand, you know, and people said, I'll never right, listen but, to you again for it. You know, I've taken my punishment but, uh, for it and I'm, you know. But but to call it a perception when so clearly it was very clear what he said was so anti-Semitic. Well, he, wasn't, he was and, not talking about when he specifically wrote that tweet. He was talking about yeah. Jewish people in his life who he felt were messing with him. And I could give you more. I'm only I could give judging you more the statement Harley Pasternak, OK. I but, it. but the point but is that, like, that. To, to then, so you're you're just saying, well, no, he meant all Jewish. He didn't. He actually didn't, which is the reason why, as I was going through the situation, I was hoping he would be mm -hmm. more understanding. And as people rightly pointed mm -hmm. out, he then went on Piers Morgan and clarified instantly that he didn't mean all Jewish people. And so, uh, and then I will say, Alex Ami, Jones this, and it, said, I love yeah, but Hitler, Ami, it, right? it, that was weeks later. Yeah. So you're talking, you can only hold me account to, to like, what, you're talking about Not my you. response. Not you, I'm just based on what you just said. Yeah, you're talking about my instant response to the DEF CON 3 tweet. That was the only statement that I had made which was immediately after that there was stuff going on in his personal life that had inspired those tweets. But now to mm -hmm. kind of hold the mirror up to you, and this is what I said to Piers yeah. Morgan, like your re the Jewish community reaction to that, very strong. Cancel Kanye, mm -hmm. he's lost his entire life, his marriage fell apart, you know, he should never have a record deal, a stadium ever again. And then you're, but you're so forgiving when Bibi Netanyahu goes a literal DEFCON 3 on Palestinians. Yeah. People are so forgiving when Yo, Rabbi Shmuley harasses Yo, me Candace. for two years openly. Yo, it's, Candace. It's, where is the response? Where is the cancel Rabbi Shmuley? Get him out of here. He's awful. It's just not the same treatment for whatever reason. Well, I Harley wasn't. Pasternak's text <laughs> message to Kanye, okay? He should never be welcomed in polite society ever again. That, that is how demonic it was. Way worse than what Kanye tweeted about going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. You're talking about going after someone's kids and drugging them. Okay, that's a real threat, not something that you're going, what does this mean? And I'm kind of panicking. That's a real threat. Nobody cared. It was a blip in the mm -hmm. headlines. So that is the reason why people at this time then will say, okay, why does it seem that Jewish people are able to get away with more. You have a black man who did something, it was wrong, he got hit down. You know, you 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 have a Jewish person, they are just feeling so comfortable, like Rabbi Shmuley, he's like, I can do a two year open harassment campaign, no one's gonna touch me. What is that? If we can't call that Jewish supremacy, what can we call it? Um, okay, so first of all, the comments that uh, Kanye made on their own, you knowing all that information is, is irrelevant to the fact that what he said was Finish inflammatory and anti What was the rest of his tweet? Everyone what? always has DEF CON 3 on some Jewish people, but what was the other half of Kanye's tweet? On Jewish people? Yeah. But, but he went, what was the other half of Kanye's tweet? You tell me. Yeah, exactly. The other half of his tweet, he said that had, been, that had been messing with him for too long. He didn't just say, oh, I'm oh, going okay. DEF CON 3 on Jewish people and tweet. It's all everyone talks about. He didn't name individuals. Yeah, but it was very clear that he was talking about something that was going, you, you could have guessed there was more here. There was more here because he said, but who have he... been messing with me for too long, okay? Right, but then as, as you, look, as you agreed, weeks later, he went on to. <sighs> anyway, Kanye West has been punished a lot by the, uh... By the gang, by the gangsters and the JD of the Jewish community, they took away his Adidas contract. He lost one point six billion dollars in one day as a punishment for what he tweeted. That is not right. That is create. This is the whole idea. Is I think the Jews could tolerate some fucking guy who's on bipolar who didn't take his medication. And just let the guy get, you know, instead of destroying him economically, you created an enemy out of him. And he has a lot of money. And he, I don't think Kanye West is, he's a tragedy. You know, he's a genius in music and things of that nature. But they have an Arabic saying that don't cry over someone who dies because they're dead. You should cry over something who, someone who loses his mind. The crazy, if somebody becomes crazy, that's the person you should cry and be sad about because when a person loses his mind, it's a terrible thing. But if he died, he already died. It's your time to go. You understand? Anyway, uh, uh, let's go. Uh, this guy This guy is not doing anything. He's the same thing like that Rabbi Barkley when he came to to face, uh, uh, what's her name? Candace. 
she put on that white suit and she came out swinging. Good. Uh, Alex Jones and these things and said, I love Hitler and just doubled down on the anti-Semitism. Okay, that is a, right? 100 percent. I'm not, you're not no, accountable no, no, I'm for not, that. Exactly. But that because happen. what you're, what yeah. you're asking me is you're saying, Candace, your initial response when he said this tweet, this is, this is what people have tried mm -hmm. to hang me on. Like this was an example of anti-Semitism was that you said, hold on here. Like he's not going to go blow up Israel. Okay. He's not mm -hmm. going to war with Jewish people. Let's just hang on and allow him to explain this. That's literally all I said. And there was like a cancel Candace campaign that like, that is what started so Rabbi Shmuley's nonstop harassment of me. Like me saying, let's hang on and hear what else he has to yeah. say. Like that was the well, greatest example of anti-Semitism that people could ever pull of Candace Owens. And I'm like, well, if that's your greatest example, like you're not sounding like you're not exactly presenting very strong evidence that I'm anti-Semitic, especially because I have owned that in the moment, again, me having too yeah. much information that I fumble the mm -hmm. ball. 